Hello foodies and welcome back to Foot in Review powered by foodcoaching.com. Today we are recording episode 524. We talk of course all about league and team of the season, some extra wicked league objectives, what's wrong with this red striker we can get almost for free. Find out by staying tuned in. My name is John. I'm the founder of Food Coaching. I'll be your host today. And joining me isn't Ingvi, unfortunately. He has some private circumstances going on. Um, he will be back shortly, hopefully. But all seems to be getting better. Um, with me is none other than the producer slash seducer. It's Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, John. Nice to be back. It's good to have you on, my friend. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Enjoying the uh, English uh, summery weather that's starting to uh, hit us. So yeah, it's uh, getting rather pleasant over here. How are things no. you? Uh, well, can't complain. Um, well, everywhere and uh, what that is in the Greek is actually worse than we had there. But nevertheless, it's all good. Um, well, talk about Greek, by the way. If you haven't checked it out already, our Greek live show is live on YouTube and all podcast services around the globe so you get a little bit of an impression of what we did there unfortunately you weren't there cal uh, but who knows what the future holds we'll talk about who that knows? shortly knows? cal it's good to have you on uh, for people that don't know you because it has been a little while give us a quick introduction and also what do you do with food coaching these days so uh, yeah my name is kyle i'm part of the uh, foot coaching family uh, part of the uh, the discord community uh, i heard a lot of uh, great reviews uh, from the uh, Crete uh, catch-up around how friendly and family-orientated the Discord is, and I can absolutely confirm that is the case. So what I do for foot coaching is I write a blog, a lot of my thoughts and feelings and reflections on the game. I recently put out a blog all about Bundesliga and the experience of foot champs and the, the quality of opposition and some of the things I've learned through my time playing uh, foot champs which has been sort of really helpful for me to to share so yeah that's all available on the website so go check it out definitely that's uh, foodandreview.com i think even foodandreview.com slash blog but i'm uh, totally not unsure about that uh, but you should be able to find it when you are there uh, yeah i love the blog it's called in edit time uh, i was a fan before we of course got you on board of it um but yeah, so check it out. It's good to have you back. I love reading because there's a lot of uh, videos, I mean, podcasts, anything. Um, and well, to have a listen and to have a watch that. Uh, but there's not much to read about FIFA. So I think having a blog in there. Uh, and it's definitely a no opinions held back blog as well. So yeah, I quite enjoy it. And of course, I'm preaching for our own, um, for our own site. But I was... Uh, subscribing to your blog when you are actually part of the team leader. So uh, check it out. Um, Kyle, team of the season, League Un. Is this the one you've been looking forward to or has that ship already sailed? Your club is dry and it's actually all right. I'm definitely uh, the one the uh, ship has sailed. Obviously, we've got some really nice cars in packs, which I'm sure will come on to John. Um, I think my hype is slowly dwindling with, with every passing week that team of the season is, is going on. I think we are into week five now of, uh, of each, each team of the season coming out. So, yeah, this week is League Un. I think there's a, a lot of cards to get to excite pe- people to get excited about. So you've got, obviously, Mbappe, Messi, and uh, they're very, very expensive cards. But... Yeah, there are a couple of duds in here as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll be lots seeing lots of uh, French and potentially uh, striker or centre mid over the next week. Definitely. There's lots of options there. Um, before we dive in, though, do you want to talk the SBCs? Do you want to talk the team? Do you want to talk about some objectives that come out? Or do you want to about, talk about the non-existent cup? <laughs> I think we'll start with the uh, the SBC, John. I think there is a really popular uh, Maestro Kimpembe, 91 uh, rated, I think he is. Uh, coming in at roughly, I think, about 600 to 700k. There are, I think, eight squads, six squads, uh, ranging all the way to an 88 rated. So, for me, really good value if you're looking for a centre-back. I know Kimpembe was really, really hyped last year 
this gold card has been the stuff of nightmares for a lot of people so I fully expect to see uh, Ramos and Kim Pembe lining up on many squads this weekend league uh, as as we get as we just sort of dive into it but Kim Pembe looks a really usable card at this stage of the game as well especially with the cards in packs that you can obviously link him to there is really good PSG links already from previous promos Hakimi, top, uh, Team of the Year, there are really good links in that league if you are already down that road. So, one I mentioned a little bit earlier was the uh, Flashback Ramos as well that we've had an SBC for. So, yeah, if I think this one is a really good value SBC if you've got a lot of fodder. Though I suspect quite a lot of people aren't fodder rich at the moment certainly i'm not <laughs> so there's a bit of a price tag if you're going out and buying them but the price of fodder these days it's relatively easy to pick up high rate of cards for really really cheap prices so i think a good value sbc and if you need a center back this is an absolute no-brainer from my point of view the thing is though I, the card's great i think it it would fit everything the only thing I have uh, I could have an issue with is the fact that if I don't have any Paris Saint-Germain players, I can't fit them with anyone. <laughs> so unless if I pack Mbappé, I'm not quite sure this one would make my team, which sounds horrible, I know. Um, but he's still there for a couple of days, isn't he? Yeah, he's, 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 there, he's there, I think, for all... Uh, I'm just going to check him now. He's there for 13 days, so there is quite a long time if you want to go and complete this. I will, come, I will come back on your uh, not not wanting to complete and fit him in, John. Is he is he that good to play without our own chemistry? Do we uh, do we back the uh, no no chemistry uh, uh, rule starting to come in now? I know no. I, I, I support I supported you on on not having players on maximum chemistry, so I certainly see uh, having a potential uh, Kim Pembe on there uh, is not a bad option either. No, so I think he, he's still great, even on zero chemistry. And like I said, normally I don't even look, I care about chemistry. Currently looking at my team, I got AK team of the season. I got Virgil van Dijk team of the season. So I've got I got uh, that new little Spanish left back from Barcelona, which is a name I always keep forgetting. Um, Balde. But I will Balde. Yes, Balde, which I kept capping, packing in this week for some reason. And put him into, like Virgil was on... He's on max cam for me, uh, and so is Ake. If I put him in and he's on zero, and then compare him with three star with a full chemistry, either of those two, then he's not better than them. So that's why I would say, okay, he's not fitting him. Would I pack Mbappe though? I wouldn't mind tossing any one of those two out. I'd probably sell Ake and <laughs> use get him in the team, of course. But so, like, I'm also playing Kimmich on zero chemistry, for example. So there's exceptions. But if you can choose between them, I would probably do it as well. So, yeah, definitely. And I, I think it, I was coming back to it. If you've got more, we're in the fifth week of the team of the season. There's going to be lots of similar rated cards or similar level cards now, John. So I think there is a much more an opportunity to play the players that you want to play with more than anything now. There are very little differences in ability very li little differences in actual card ratings as well so just means that you can play with those players you can play with Katruda and Ake and uh, Van Dijk to your heart's content definitely I'm using a lot of uh, zero one though because Balde I actually quite like pretty cool player uh, I can really believe I played about 10 matches with him and I think he I prefer maybe over Cup to Villa which is something uh, yeah. because he can actually pass how much Cup to Villa can't <laughs> yeah, I, I I packed him as well, and I use I use him. I got a load of um, good red picks last week last weekend. But yeah, Balde I really like. He's high medium, but I think really good passer as you say, John. So yeah, perfect perfect attacking uh, fullback for me. I, I I really like him as well. And I play in him one, so that's that's enough. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? So we got a uh, weekend league objective, which has come in to. The objective section that is looking at you play foot champions finals so if you win 13 and you play the rest of the objectives so play five play 10 win five win eight and win 11 and win 13 you get a red uh, lewis appender which uh, is 90 rated 99 pace 91 shooting 
93 physical. He looks an absolute beast of a car. <laughs> and if I can't say any bit, anything better about him as well. I can. Um, yeah. I think I think the only thing that uh, that slightly puts me off, and at this stage of the game, is a three star weak foot. I I can't I can't uh, get behind a player who's uh, really less than four star at this stage of the season. But yeah, this this objective is looking at you playing with a squad of League One players in finals. So if you already got a number of League One players in your uh, starting squad this is a really good objective for you to go for though it does mean and i and i said this to john that we do not have a uh, friendly cup mode this week so with my trading hat on this affects a lot of previous special league one cars that people may have bought for those league one friendly teams so i think there is a, a bit of a Bit of a sway happening on some of those out of packs uh, league one specials, but yeah, it's a it's a good objective. I think if you've got a league one squad or are prepared to sweat it out in champs to get a red appender and player picks and some other special cards along the way. Yeah, so this card sucks. <laughs> um, his face sets are good, great even. The fact you can get these objectives done. Pretty awesome. I do think, uh, let's talk about those objectives in a second, because I do also have a critical opinion about that one. Um, but the fact you can get them for free, pretty cool. Fast, strong, good shooting. But a three-star weak food, the weak food penalty is so high that 99 finishing is in reality something like 85, right? And a card with 85 finishing, or a card where you actually have to watch for getting in, uh, the most out of it is ridiculous at the end of the season's time. I don't think we should have any cards below four star weak foot. That have, like team of the season, no card should have less than four star weak foot. Period. I think you bringing yourself in such a risk having a three star weak foot striker that there's no way I could fully recommend it. Although if, even if every single step was 99, I would still be inclined not to use him because of that disadvantage. Yeah, there's definitely a disadvantage at this stage of the game with having the three star weak foot. That's why I brought. That's why I brought him up. I think on face value, he looks a really good card. I've come up against him as well previous games in his player of the month card. Sometimes it, it destroys. Sometimes you can just read it and it, it's not got the finishing or the, the stats to back it up. So definitely, I think there is a lot of community hype with a pender as a bit of a FIFA uh, novelty or. A pretty juiced uh, card that plays to its above its stats, but yeah, certainly, certainly, I'm I'm not rushing to do this objective. For me, I don't have that if any league one cards, and I did attempt to try and put a league one squad together, and I can't even complete a first eleven without having to go down into a into a uh, gold rare. So for me, I'm not I'm not going to attempt this one. But as I said, if you've already got a number of league one players and you want this red appender, it's it's there. Go at it. Definitely. Although that's my second gripe with his objectives. Although I very much like the idea. We've not had anything in Wicked League where you need 11. Or actually, the full squad, you need the, this squad, so you need your subs as well, where you need a full squad of players from one league before. So bringing this in during the fifth week of team of the season, while nobody might actually be expecting this, feels a little bit off. Like, if I look at my own team, like, Okay, I could maybe rebuild it and have some sort of weaker league on team, right? To get 13 wins with a weaker team. I think it's for me, it's a much safer bet to just use my normal team, get 14 wins and be sure of the team the season pack as well. I don't see if, wow, like I, I just, I don't see the <laughs> why I should try this. Um, but then again, it is there if you want to give yourself an extra chance, I suppose. It's the yeah. same as we had this week, the uh, bonus qualification points from things. We did, yeah. Uh, also, such a weird one where you're like, this is probably for the newer players to get them into a weekly league, but why at that point don't give everyone free access to the weekly league anyways? And this is another one like, yeah, I get why you do this. If you did this from week on, 
from the first week onwards, people could have expected it. Uh, at this point, I'm like, I'm not rebuilding my team for uh, to have a chance in an Openda. Well, I'd rather have a bigger chance of fucking an Mbappe. Yeah, definitely. And it's not, it's not screaming out to me either, John. So I think, yeah, it's it's one if you've got a, a really good league on squad already, go attempt it. I do notice as well, it's 13 wins. And if you're aiming for 14, you can get an untradeable team of the uh, season pack anyway. And you might get something better than the, the Reds that are already available here. So, yeah, I think certainly for me, I'm, I'm using my full normal squad. I'm not changing up. I'm not going out and buying team of the season players or certainly previous promo players to, to do this objective. Plus, there's no XP in there. So, I'm not even attempted to do it for the season uh, objectives quite neither. No. So, I think if we would summarize this, I think we're safe to say from both our perspectives that this is a great opportunity this is a great idea it's a little bit late and the execution could be a little bit better yeah i think that's a fairly uh, sensible way to look at it john okay so an eight for the idea six for the execution and if you uh keep this going though because i think if you make this predictable you would have done it from the first week on or do this every week at league with just different leagues for example or do this every single week at league and just use different nations like we used to have. And I know why they can't do it because they can't do this. Uh, all right. I don't know why they can't do it because I wanted to say you can't do this because of qualifications, but those aren't affected by weekly league anyways. So you can do this from week one onwards. Just make it either random or take a, every week, take an extra bonus objectives, whatever. But that would make it fun, make players more valuable to keep in your club. Um, for me, I just packed two team of the season players from Ligue 1. I instantly sold them because I definitely know that after a week of Ligue, the cards I pack won't be worth that much. I just sold them for anyone. Um, so sell if you have one, I, I would almost say. But I, I still like the idea. Bonus objectives is always good. Um, just a little bit of a uh, narrowed down perspective from it. Who can? Well, don't want to be too critical, but I think that one is fair. Um, the team itself, though, want to have a look at that already? Yeah, or? yeah. Let's 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 have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the team. I'm going to bring I'm going to bring it up on my. Or, uh, or do you want about these interesting packs that were in store? So I think I think team. Let's start on the team, John. I think team wise, there are some really good cards in here. I like the look of uh, David Everyone. and Renato Sanchez. <laughs> if I can get those out of the uh, out of my red picks later, I will happily take take those. I think as well, it's kind of on par with a lot of the other team of seasons, particularly I think uh, looking back, there's kind of uh, different stages of co level of card. You've got some fodder cards that are going to be really low value and then you've got some, some middle tier ones. And then you kind of look into those uh, upper echelons, the really premium, premium picks. So you like to, uh, a 98-7 uh, Mbappe, a 98 Messi. There are there is a 95 Lacazette, a 94 Ben Yedda, and a 95 Marquinhos. And yeah, there's there's kind of a, a really good good selection of those high-tier cards. And as I said, there's some mid-tier and some uh, lower-tier, but on the whole, it looks a good team. But obviously, one that we've not voted on as well, that um, EA didn't give us the opportunity to vote on this one, so this is probably one they've put together to sell a few more packs, I would uh, say, it's particularly with the, the Mbappe being in there. Everybody wants to try and pack him in their, in their reds uh, this weekend. But yeah, it looks a, looks a decent team, uh, John. <laughs> decent, yeah, it looks, uh, it looks terrific. And um, I mean, striker Messi, I wouldn't mind him. Mbappe, definitely. Ben, all these cards are pretty awesome, right? I mean, Saba is the only one where I like, oh, hmm, couldn't care less. Probably will be packing him though. Uh, but like, I would say even Medina isn't that far off the Kim Mbappe card, right? Yeah, well, Medina is a high rated card. Face value wise as well, he's ninety four compared to um, Kim Pembe's ninety one, coming in at one hundred thirty five k at the moment. Like that's a really sensible centre back. Argentinian links links to the goalkeeper Samba. You can start putting together a really really strong 
squad for less than 200k. Yeah. That's a centre back and a goalie that's going to see you for the rest of the uh, rest of the league run and particularly into the uh, the last uh, uh, team of the season, which is uh, Serie A next week. Definitely, then, uh, I'll compare Kimpembe with Medina now for a sec. Hmm. Pace Kimpembe is one pace faster, one point, and four points faster on acceleration, right? But sprint speed is faster on Medina. Then, if you look at the, the, the points where they actually what it matters the most. Defensive, defensive awareness, 93 for Medina, 89 for Kimbempe. And then it's a difference of nothing. 93 versus 94, 91 versus 92, 93 versus 94, 88 versus 87, 84 versus 87, 95 versus 96, 98 versus 99. Suddenly, in my own opinion, unless you pack Mbappé, the value of Kimbempe is pretty down the drain. <laughs> of course, like the Medina card, right? Yeah, absolutely. I would, yeah, even, yeah. I would definitely go so far as Medina has a better card. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at a, him at face value now, John, and yeah, he, he looks a really, really good card. Less than, yeah, you know, less than two hundred k for a, you know an eighty eight pace centre back and stats uh, for dribbling, defending, and physical all in the nineties. That's that's absolutely a top tier, top tier card. So. Yeah, I think uh, if you uh, if you need that sort of link in your team, he's Argentinian, which is a bit of a bit of a strange one in league. I think you find a lot of the French links and and uh, uh, kind of those, those kind of players are kind of more, more sought after. But certainly, uh, that's what probably Kimpembe's got going for is that is that link ability a little bit more compared to the Argentinian one. But if you pack Messi, then that works exactly the same way for the uh, Medina card. So. Yeah, it's a really, really good pick up. Uh, I, I, I like the look of this one. Definitely. Although Marquinho is a different piece to this game. <laughs> I don't yeah. why, I don't know actually why he got a 95 rated card this year. But looking at that card, that's, yeah, that's a pretty nutty card. Uh, I think that's, doesn't have the aggression of the other two, but I wouldn't mind packing that. Honestly, I wouldn't mind packing any of these cards, if I'm quite honest. Uh, because even Verratti, which oh, I would say even Verratti, which is normally an underrated card, it looks really good. So five star week foot as well, four star skill moves. Yeah, what is the the one card you would love to have in this? Uh, yeah, and of course, I guess Mbappe. We should talk about Mbappe, but I mean, best striker in the game probably still is. This one probably will be thirteen uh, something million now. Eh. That one everyone would buy in the pack, but if you don't, what would be the one card you were looking forward to get? So, uh, apart from Mbappe, who's another striker in this team, I really like the look of uh, the David card. He he looks absolutely phenomenal from a from a striker that you want to finish chances in the box with ninety five pace, ninety five shooting, ninety three dribbling, a five star weak foot. That is, um. You no, know, a really, really strong, strong card. Like he's not got any particular weak areas. Probably not the most agile player ever. They're probably more agile strikers. But well, ninety-one so, still. Yeah, there are. Uh, uh, kind of, there's maybe a few. I've got. I've got uh, Rashford up front, so I'm probably uh, <laughs> probably used to that agility a little bit more. But yeah, that that uh, that that David uh, striker card looks looks absolutely phenomenal. Coming in at roughly about eight hundred k. Plays uh, centre forward and right wing and left wing as well, so really good link ability. Uh, Canadian nationality is a bit of a, a bit of a hard one to get round, but yeah, I'm fully behind uh, one or uh, zero chem at this point. I think they are very very good players, so they they just go go straight in. Yeah, this is one of those cards which I don't know if we'll see him a lot unless people pack him right, pack him in tradable. But with four star five star, it's of course brilliant. He's fast. He has a great profile picture with profile picture, great picture with the sunglasses on, of course. Uh, but he's got also got 99 jumping and 97 strength with 99, of course, with the stamina. But he's also got high high. So if you're one of those players who, who play five for one, which by the way, I don't think that's an issue. If you want to play five for one, play five for one. As long as you don't spam kick off glitches, I'm actually not too. Too bothered with people playing five for one, um, but this card's high high. So if you put him at centre midfield, and although his defensive awareness isn't there, he, he would be a pretty good centre midfielder that's not on defensive duties as well. So, yeah, 
Yeah, and no, he looks a really good all round all round card, and I really like his his different positions you can put him in. You know, especially being right wing or left wing, so much more opportunity to get him into your your squad as well. And compatriot Canadian uh, left back of Alfonso Davies from Bundesliga Tots is it's relatively inexpensive. So if you did need that chemistry link, that 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 um, sought after. Uh, you know, one one link or uh, or more is is quite easy to 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 get with a, a a Davies card and possibly a Canadian manager. I'm not even sure if there's one in the game. I did hear that they added some more managers, so uh, fully expect there to be. I heard that as well that they added a Canadian manager amongst one of them. Uh, unfortunately, my interest was so low. I actually <laughs> checked if that's the case. <laughs> no, I'm the same, John. I'm not even I'm not even bothered to check. So, but he is. Uh, no, I think you're right. David is a is one of those cards which is probably underrated. Uh, but I think that Medina was my most underrated card which I had in the team. And although you can't really go wrong with a Fofana either, right? So, plenty of cards. Once again, plenty of good cards. Only card that I don't think that we'll see much plays, Andre. But which now already fell is at twenty five thousand <laughs> coins. So I think I'm not the only one saying that. Yeah, yeah, he's he's fodder. <laughs> he definitely is. Uh, you're playing weekly league, though. You're I'm playing. I, I'm playing weekend league. I've been playing uh, pretty much every weekend league um, so far this season. I don't think I miss 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 many. But yeah, fully expecting to go into this one. Uh, try and get as high up on my uh, wins as I can. I've been averaging maybe fourteen uh, between sixteen and fourteen. I've got a thirteen in prem, so expecting probably this weekend to be very similar to the the prem. So I'm very sweaty. Very, uh, oh. very uh, uh, competitive, but uh, yeah, we, uh, we we'll give it a good go, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we do. See what reds we get. It's definitely one of those weekends where you need a towel sitting playing. Cause <laughs> yeah, this well, is I, this is the wicked league, maybe even right. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think this and Premier League are are the weekend league. Certainly Premier League for for me. One thing I did want to mention in my blog, I mentioned about um, taking weekend league a little bit slower. So if you've got the opportunity to play uh, games on different days, then then take that opportunity. I I tend to find I get better results when I uh, do do uh, games in in sort of sprints. So maybe four or five games at a time, rather than trying to sit twenty in at one at one point tend to get better results you'd be surprised how much you uh, concentrate for a game of uh, a fifa that's uh 10 15 minutes long especially in uh, in champs that that extra couple of wins can make all the difference in your in your reds or uh, team of season pack definitely um i mean that's one thing i always advocate for right and the, you now have plenty of time to do it although i've not done any weekly leagues yet unless the premier league one uh, i will be playing this one though uh, it's not that I have um, a um, brilliant amount of time, but it is if you can start on a Friday, just four games a day. And four games a day, while meanwhile hoping all the other players I'll face be playing a full league on squad, <laughs> uh, could very much end up being very, fairly easy to go for it. So I'll play with my regular team, which goes, which is changing on the fly anyways. Um, and I can just... I, I would say I just go for uh, just try to go fourteen wins. Um, yeah, I, I, there's a couple of things though. The I, I just quickly spoke about the kickoff glitch thingy. Um, you've seen that maybe on, now on socials this week. People have been hyping it, and that's all fine. It's been in the game for weeks though. That isn't hard to defend. So I just wanted to say, I am expecting to see that a lot over the next weekend. But if it is a kickoff, your opponent has a kickoff, just instantly switch your right, flick your right stick all the way right, as right as you can, if, you, if it makes sense. You'll be the center defender, and when the ball goes up, you'll be fairly easy to defend. Hold L2 even when the ball comes near him, and you should be all right. What you can also do next to that, or only that, is the partial team press. So click R1 hold twice, hold it on the second click, and you'll be running along with the player that goes for a run. Both will run work, I think, 99 out of 100%. I don't think I've conceded one of those yet, um, but I'm expecting that to be happening this week a lot, so be prepared for that. But if people play like that and people are playing the league squads only to get the 13 wins, 
if you play your normal game, you split it out, you know how to defend these kickoff things. Honestly, I think a good result might be looking there for anyone that doesn't join that base train in there. Yeah, I, I would say on that kickoff, Blitz, that's been the bane of my life the last couple of week, <laughs> weekends. So uh, certainly in the rivals, I've already seen it before this uh, this champion, the uh, World Champs week, weekend league has started. So yeah, really helpful advice there, John. I'm going to be certainly switching to my centre-back and uh, cutting off that uh, hurricane through ball that seems to be getting me every time that someone has a has a goal. Now, I do I do find that because I don't celebrate my goals, that instant that instant switch back to the kickoff is actually sometimes doing me a disadvantage because they go straight into that kickoff routine of straight back to the centre mid and pinging it over the top. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and watch out for that a little bit more. That's uh, I think that's a good bet. Anyways, although if you're five for one and you play with three centre defenders, it's easy to switch to one centre back. And just get him anyways. I think make it routine to switch to your centre back. I think that if you do that from the start, by the right switch, right stick switch, and we're just flicking all the way right, you should be all right. Like I said, I honestly we, we practiced this after we saw it a couple of weeks ago for the first time. I think back then we saw it on a pro, I think on the FGS qualifier actually, where they called the false guard. Like we didn't like what happened there. Uh, people knew and then. I think the element of surprise that what what works, but this isn't a broken mechanic or anything. I'm that I'm just, I'm really, um, really honest in that. It's very much trainable to defend against it. Should it be in there? I don't know. It's a little bit easy, maybe, but we have to consider that we also now have the best scars in the game at our disposal. So where normally you would have a good defender, you'd be able to not or get away with it anyways. Now you might have find yourself running against Harry Kane, for example, right? I think that's what sort of makes it a little bit more effective. Um, all we can say, we need more manual true balls in the next FIFA or next EAFC. And then we won't actually happen to have this anymore. But it is it is really much, it is really defendable. Like I said, I can't even remember the last time I conceded one and people try a plenty, so... Um, they get advice. So partial team press, double tapped R1 or RB button, and hold the RB button and or R1, depending on the console that, or right stick switch right away to your defender. When he throws the ball in, you just step up, hold L2, hat the ball away. And when you hat against guys like Harry Kane, don't hat with the passing button, no hat with the shooting button. It doesn't matter where the ball goes for, even if he gets it back on midfield, all it matters is that you win. And when they do a power shot and you to a pass, you will very often lose. So defend corners, through balls as well, like this, with your power shooting button, with your normal shooting button. I think that's uh, something I see happen a lot lately on corners as well, where people just try to pass it away, if that makes sense, while heading a ball. You will lose out against bigger players that do use a shooting on that. So um, That's a little, I should make a topic on that. Food coaching tip of the day. Maybe I should do it like this. It's the foot coaching tip of the day. <laughs> and that's a like freestyle, freestyle one. Uh, Cal, anything else you wanted to discuss with the league and team of the season, my friend? I, th I think that's a really good overview, John. And I really uh, love your little bit of coaching there and just taking us through the uh, defending the, uh, the kickoff pitch. So that's going to be really helpful for me in my, uh, in my weekend league coming up. But yeah, no, no, I think we've covered this team in a lot of detail. There's a lot of players that we are hoping to pack in our, in our Reds and hopefully in our guaranteed Team of the Season packs. Though I am not holding my breath, I think we're going to see a lot of Andre, a lot of uh, uh, Cabela and uh, a lot of Tadebo as well in those, in those uh, guaranteed packs. But if you do get lucky, you get lucky and, uh, and absolutely enjoy it. <laughs> Definitely. Um... I'm not thinking maybe we should just will it into existence. Where normally I'd say, oh, we're probably not very lucky, but that doesn't do it. anything. Maybe we should do it the other way around. So I'm pretty happy that this weekend I will pack Mbappé from the Reds. Um, and yeah, it's unfortunate that, I'm, that, that Ben Yedder Red will be benched, start on the bench. Uh, but nevertheless, I, I didn't mind already packing him. Of course, yeah. well, let's talk next week how I did pack uh, Samba and Klaus, but hey, <laughs> <laughs> maybe some, sometimes you just got to push it, right? 
<laughs> yeah, uh, uh, there's a, uh, a, a conspiracy a theory that uh, if you can speak a player into existence, they will appear. So, uh, yeah, I hope everyone uh, say uh, Mbappe before you open your uh, your red picks. Then, uh, yeah, Mbappe shall appear. <laughs> <laughs> that will be something, though, next week. Uh, we'll get plenty of Mbappe. Also, um, this, I've probably seen 99 loan Mbappe's anywhere from those pack stores, right? Um, they introduced one pack store, though, or, which, or store pack, I should say, of course, which i never seen before, which is a, you buy it, I don't even know how much it was, but 200 FIFA points or something else, but I bought it for FIFA points, going to be completely honest there, so I spent 1,000 FIFA points on five player picks, and those player picks gave out one of three league-owned players, but these cards were tradable. And having the chance to do that for 200 FIFA points, and we know we spoke about this week, and I know people have been accusing me for being an EA Shield promoting back boy, but um, that's not a bad value, if I'm quite honest. For me, I packed two teams this season, sold them, I think, for 280-something together. If I can spend the tenner and get 280,000 coins legally through the game, nobody gets hurt by it. That's actually not too bad for, for, for my time versus value. Um, but even then, it was the first time I saw picks in, tradable picks in packs, or am I mistaken there? Because I don't pay too they, much attention to store. They did a Bundesliga player pick, but that was only, I think, one time repeatable. This one being five times repeatable is new. Yeah. I managed to get a uh, moment Sizoko. I managed to Mark miss it, the Bundesliga one. <laughs> but yeah it's, it's something new that EA are doing I don't know whether I like this an awful lot I think if you've got I think it's definitely incentivizing people to buy FIFA points because it's a quick easy player pick it's a thousand well, me, honestly, so. yeah um, I opened all of my all of mine with uh, with coins so I spent 125,000 on my player picks I, I did even that then in, that's not yeah. too bad for no, you, man. No, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. And my, my, my view is we're at the, near the end of the game cycle now. So I've got I've got that, that coins to, to spare. And I'm you know, probably going to be able to make some of that back with, with the weekend league rewards and and sort of trading and things like that. That I think it's, it's something we've seen more of. I would I expect to see it in EA FC 24 just uh, theorizing that they are going down this more pay-to-win approach. I'm certainly seeing with the packs that they put in the store, the, certainly the player pick being tradable and uh, opening it with uh, either FIFA points or, or coins is, is, a, is a change from EA, but I think it's, it's the route that they're going down in terms of that, that more pay-to-win pay uh, uh, approach. Not to say that they're going to get rid of um, SBCs. I think SBCs are a really good opportunity for you to grind or develop objectives or players into your club. But certainly, over the last couple of weeks, we've started to see those those tradable player picks enter the enter the store at not bad value. I don't think twenty five k is a is a bad value to 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 go at. So they are very very tempting, and especially when you are unleashing a league and uh, team of the season. Everyone wants to try and uh, get an opportunity of uh, an Mbappe, Messi, or a Ben Yedda. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing, right? On this stage, like, yeah, actually, that doesn't look too bad to get to try it. But uh, uh, well, we talked about if it was going to be paid to win uh, this week before. So for now, I'll leave that topic be. But <laughs> I, I think we're all agreed that they're doing a little bit less gambling thing and more like these are pretty good odds or you know what you're gonna get um yeah and i'll like i said i like the, the episode this week that didn't get uh or did get a lot of praise by the fact we were so open about the discussion and we had a um uh, normal this we had a proper discussion about it uh but i got a lot of hate in my mailbox by saying i not always mind these things so but i'm definitely not changed my mind because uh, like today i'm like Actually, that doesn't look too bad. So, oh well. I think that's also the good part. You can enjoy this how you think you can enjoy it. And uh, in this situation, that worked for me. So, 
I don't have much left. Uh, I can tell you something about next week, which will be trying to get uh, the host of um, the Eva Mar Hotel, Marius. Uh, we're going to try to get him on the show. Uh, Chris, myself, and him will do a recap about the Crete uh, event. It's going to be a bonus episode, though, so don't worry. Don't take anything away from anyone. Um, but just go through it. In the video version of that, you can find some footage, some videos, some uh, mostly photos that have been shot there by one a terrific photographer. Uh, we'll link them there as well. So if you're in the UK and you need some photography jobs done, check them out. Um, and we are working on a special show all about tactics in formations in FIFA 23 and Maybe even how you start FIFA 24 or EAFC, of course, 24 with that as well, which will be hosted by none other than Grand Papa Mac, my dear friend, and of course, coach Nathan and my dear friend and coach Archom. So you had a dynamic trio there. Um, no with me, no me. And the other shows will, of course, will be continuing next week where myself and Daniel will be back as usually. So there's a lot of content on the horizon and also talking about content i could appreciate your help and that's your as in the listener so if you're listening to this on spotify or on apple leave us a five-star review and tell us why you like it if you put that on it will become available on our new website foodreview.com as well we'll read every single five-star review out loud of course if you have feedback you can now drop it underneath every episode in spotify so click Spotify, click on the episode, and the first thing you'll see when you scroll down on the episode, it says, how do you like this episode? Leave us a note, leave us some comments, leave us some feedback. We can learn from that. And of course, we're now back on YouTube as well. So not can, only can you find the video version on Spotify, you can also find the video version on YouTube. And although I think we are pretty cool doing it now with cutting and switching between, between hosts, and getting overall views and stuff. If you have any feedback about that, let us know, because we are here to learn, and you, our listeners, and now our viewers, we appreciate you so much, and we do this for you. So if you have something we can help to make the experience better for you as well, let us know. Kyle, where can people find you, my friend? So people can find me at Quarters on Twitter. Uh, I'm also Kyle, uh, brackets Quarters, in the, uh, in the Discord. You can also find my newsletter at the Foot in Review website. Definitely. So go check it out. And I am at the Even Ude on Twitter. But most importantly, just at Foot Coaching everywhere you can find us. And of course, footcoaching.com. But most importantly, we're here about the show. Foot Coaching is only, well, basically paying for everything on the show does. But uh, they're not putting it back this show together so check out footinreview.com and you find all the information about us there including Kyle's awesome blog which I also got a header so you can find it in the navigation bar which apparently I turn off by all my hard effort so <laughs> <laughs> for people listening to this they can actually click on it as well um, Kyle thank you so much there's just one thing for us left to do that is to drop it drop it you. You. Hey. 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 Hey.